Hi guys, so today it is finally time for another wish haul and I have to say I do have, have filmed this once already and my memory card decided to just die on me so it deleted half of the footage which was the first part so we're doing the first part again today and then I'll just jump you into where I was so I'm going to start with the um, let's do the top things first shall we so I have three like tops type um, this is a little harness bra type thing so it is like a little I don't even what okay there we go this is upside down um it will look like this so it has these like straps that go up and across on your chest and then on the side right here so um, it does look like this as you can see this little lace thing that can cover your boobs it's super super tiny even though everything else is like quite long so I have tried this on already and uh, there is no way I can show this to you on me on camera uh, it would definitely get me flagged um, this is a size extra large and uh, I think it is very pretty but um, yeah this just doesn't cover anything so if you're smaller up top but you're wider around this might work but for someone like me who has um, a bigger chest this just did nothing at all and then I got this little I don't know if I want to call this a bralette or a crop top um, but it looks like this so it's this orange and it looks really small but this is actually the right size I think I got this in an extra large as well um, and it just looks like this so it has all of these crossing over on the front which looks really nice at least on the model and you get those um like straps behind so i don't know would you call this a bralette or would you call this a crop top because i really can't decide obviously there is no hold to this this is just basically a really really short tank top um but i kind of also feel like it is a little bit too short to be a crop top but i don't know i will will of course try all of these things on so you can actually see them on me apart from this so yeah, the uh, material is really, really soft. It's not like maybe a bathing suit fabric, but it is one of those soft, not so breathable fabrics. But when it's just for your boobs, pretty much, that doesn't really matter in my opinion. Um, the sewing is not like the best. There are these like little things poking out from every one of these um, threads that are going across your chest like this. Uh, but overall, I think it does look cute, and I do really like the color of this as well. This, like, orangey-yellow kind of thing. And then here is the yellow top. I just put a bra on underneath, and actually it's not as short as I thought it would be. But I do really, really like this right here. It looks super cute. So if you had, like, well, for me at least, if I had pants that went up to here, like, if I pull these up really, really high, like this, maybe I could be comfortable wearing this. But um, for me, I would definitely have to some go something that covers a little bit more. But I do think it is very cute and definitely just for at home, this is perfect. If you like to lounge around in clothing. But mostly I just really like this crisscross right here and the color is beautiful. And then there is this little bra. I think this might be like a sports bra or if you would call this a bralette as well. There's no wires or anything but it's definitely prettier than a sports bra in my opinion with this lace thing on front. So there was padding in this. I took it out. I still have the original try on footage so you will still, still see my first reaction to putting these things on. Um, but these I did take out before I put this on and I'm glad I did. Um, it has this little seam inside 
to keep your boobs a little contained, I guess. Um, and then this lace is just like, it's um, sewn shut in the bottom, but in the top it's like this. So maybe if, um, if your boobs fill this out and the lace is like tight enough, you can maybe use this as like a pocket. Instead of putting things actually in your boobs, you can put it in this lace pocket on your bra. Um, but yeah, it does look like this. It's quite good fabric as well, I would say. And uh, it is very stretchy. So this is a size extra large and you are supposed to hand wash these according to the little tag thing. Um, I'm not going to hand wash this, but I will use a laundry bag when it is like lacy like this. I think it's quite cute and they have like a lot of different colors and same with this, this one as well. They had like tons of colors. So I can actually wear this, which is kind of cool. Uh, this lace panel is supposed to go up here in the pictures, so I definitely have bigger boobs than I was supposed to have over this set. But it does fit really, really comfortable, and it fits really secure under here, so I don't feel like it's going to slip out. Uh, it is a little bit tight right, right here on the side, so I probably should have sized up one more size. But I don't think there was a bigger size. So it looks like this. I think it is really, really cute, actually. It has a little bit of a sports bra feel, but just not as tight. But I will definitely be wearing this, if nothing else, then at least at home. So I feel like this is like the constricting part, this like lace overlay. Uh, it's not as stretchy as this fabric right here. And then I picked up a pen and I just got this because it looks super, super fancy. Um, so I got ink for this as well. This is one of those, I don't know, calligraphy pens or whatever you would say, um, the really, really fancy ones. So I also got ink and I'm really excited for this pen and it is quite heavy for a pen. Like it just, it feels really good quality and it's definitely like a metal and the color is beautiful and there's no scratches or anything. So if you also want a really fancy pen, I definitely recommend this one. It is very, very cool. And then I got a sleep mask and uh, this came in a pack of two and uh, it's, it just looks like this. So these are like bulging out a little bit to make more room for your eyes. And then there's a little opening kind of thing here for your nose. And it's supposed to make it more comfortable to wear and uh, it also has a Velcro in the back. Um, I guess if you don't want to pull it over your head, you could just do like this. So uh, it feels quite comfortable and my eyes don't feel squished. So that's definitely a good, good thing because I've tried sleeping masks like this before uh, where you're just, it feels like your eyes are being pressed into your brain and uh, it's not a comfortable feeling. So I have this one and then it came in a two pack. The two pack was the same price as one. But they do seem to be pretty good quality and the material is quite soft. Um, I don't know if it's like neoprene or something. That's kind of what it feels like. I got a little luggage tag, which is kind of random. Just has all of Asia, Europe and Africa on it. And then you can just write your information on the back. Uh, I do have another one with the doll from Stitch on it, which I love. It's super cute. But I just needed another one because I have more than one bag and I don't want to switch them over all the time. So I just got this and it is very cute. I got these two t-shirts. This is a size extra large and this is a size 3X. This is for, this one is for me and this one is for a friend of mine. So I am going to open this up so you can look at it. And uh, this is just a plain cotton t-shirt and we decided to get the gray one. So it just says, I can't adult today, I am at Disney. And I got this um, for us because we're going to Disney in December and I felt like this was very appropriate. Um, and then I just got my size and then I asked her what size she wanted. So the decals are, they're definitely like a plastic decal on top and you can kind of see that as well when you see the shine in them. But they do feel pretty well attached, like they don't feel like I can like pick them off or anything. And uh, I'm obviously not going to be using this until I go to Disney, so I think it will be fine anyway. And then after that, maybe this could be like my Disney Marathon t-shirt or something. 
Uh, but it is very, very cute, and uh, I do really like the print, and it's like that Disney-type font, so it looks very good. And I also got this tights, and if you saw my rant about how I'm cursed, um, the package that they couldn't find at the post office, I thought that was this, but it's not. It's here. So now I have no idea what actually didn't show up, which is kind of terrifying because I have no idea. Um, but it's this tight and it has this lace um, lace print all the way up the side of the tights right here, which looks super cool on the model. So I believe this is a size extra large. Yeah, extra large. And this is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So it is very stretchy. Um, also a little bit see-through. Like you can definitely see my white shirt through this. Um, and uh, this tag is definitely gotta go. I'm gonna cut that off. But um, overall they are very soft and because they're just like thin tights, I don't really care. It's a little bit of a swimsuit material. They do feel really, really soft and they seem pretty well made as well. Um, so yeah. And then this lace does go all the way up to the waistband. So if you have this at your actual waist, um, I would probably wear something a little bit longer with it so that it would cover your underwear, which would obviously appear here somewhere if you're wearing it. Um, and this is so thin that I, I would not be comfortable walking around commando in this. Um, but yeah, it does look very cute and uh, the size looks like it's gonna be pretty true to size as well so yeah, you just have this lace all the way around and it looks really nice and it's super cute and I have some dresses that I think are a little bit too short to wear without anything underneath um, so this is like going to be my savior and I was planning on buying this again actually but then I didn't have to since it, it's here but I'm kind of um, contemplating if I should contact the post again and ask them if they could check what that actually was. This is like the last thing that I knew I ordered, which is why I was just expecting it to be this one. But then it's here. So now I have absolutely no idea. And then here are the tights. So it feels a little bit tight, like on the calf, which is kind of strange. Um, but this is what it looks like. It is very, very thin, but it is also very comfortable. And I really do like the lace detail, but you can definitely see that I'm wearing panties underneath right here. So if, when I'm wearing this, I'll probably wear something longer, right? Like this, I'll, I'll get it and I'll show you. So this is probably high up how I would wear it. This shirt and uh, dress is a little bit too short for me to be comfortable wearing it without anything underneath. Just like right here, it's a little bit short, I feel. So this is probably something that I would wear this with because it's still, you know, um, I don't know. And uh, it is a little bit shiny, just so that you're aware of that. If you want a cotton, this is not it. But it does look really, really cute. I'm just going to jump you into the next footage from when I filmed this on Monday. So I hope you will keep watching even though my clothes, hair and makeup is quite different. I'm actually really excited that this got here because I was planning on buying this again. And then I got this little thing and this is a little silicone thing that you can put oil in and then you can like brush it onto the surface. Like, sometimes I cook with oil in the pan, but I don't want a lot of oil, so I can just like use this like this. And uh, this is silicone, and it also has some measurements on the side right here, which is kind of fancy. Uh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was, but obviously I don't mind that. So there's just one little hole in here for the oil to come through, and then you just like brush it on everything. And then I got a set of cutlery, because um, I'm trying to cut down on plastic. So I can use this if I'm out eating and I don't want to use plastic. Uh, so it just comes in a set like this. So it has a fork, a uh, spoon, and a pair of, um, what's it called? Chopsticks. And then it comes in this little pouch that you can put them in. 
And uh, I also checked the measurements when I got this because I wanted to add a reusable straw in here as well and that should fit just fine. Especially the fork, it's pretty massive. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works in like when you're actually using it. And then we have a um, pillowcase and it just looks like this. So from afar, it looks really, really cute. From up close, you can definitely see the individual pixel pixels in the, um, like it doesn't look very uh, good quality from like up close. And then the back is just... And then the back is just all white, like this. Um, I just wanted some new pillows in here and we have a lot of dark stuff so I kind of want to lighten it up a little bit. So I am planning on buying more pillowcases in this kind of white, grey, gold scheme of tones. And buying some new pillows to put them on, obviously. Okay, this is just a pack of those that you can put on the back of the shoes to make them a little bit more comfortable to wear. And uh, I don't know how many, it's five pairs. So there's five pairs of these um, things in here. And because uh, I have some shoes that are a little bit too big, so hopefully this will be able to fix that. Uh, and I just got the nude color, but they had different colors as well, like black and leopard and stuff. Okay, and here's all the ink. So there's five, it's, so there's like 10 little things of ink in here and uh, I really want to get that pen to work so I'm super excited and uh, I don't know it just looks really really cool so hopefully this will work out with that pen and then I do want to see if we can get this to work so I'm just gonna pop out that. honestly I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly I like, I feel like this should be popped onto here, right? Because that's where the other one was, like this empty one that was in there already. But this is so much taller and it doesn't have this like screw thing on top. Okay, I'm gonna have this underneath and then we're just gonna try to pop this on. Okay, so I got that in there. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this top off or not. And then there are all these other things, and I don't know what any of them are for. Hey, no, it's working. Okay, I guess maybe I didn't have to do anything else. That's awesome. Okay, so now we have the pen. And it is writing. So I'm gonna put it down so you can see. So I really enjoy this pen. I love uh, pens with liquids, like uh, gel pens and stuff like that. And this is definitely in the alley. It just writes so smoothly and it didn't write through the page either, which is awesome. So I really, really enjoy this. It was a little bit more expensive than what I would typically purchase a pen for, but for what it is, how cool it looks and how well it works, it's definitely worth it. And also you do have to buy these separately. Uh, but it was just to press that on there and wait a little while and then it started flowing through so Super happy with this and then I just got a little weekly planner and uh, this is super cute So it just has Monday through Friday and then these small ones for the weekend and uh, Honestly, I just got this because it was adorable. It is smaller than I thought it would be I was hoping it would be at least like this big so that there will be a little bit more space to write in because with this you can't really have a lot of plans because you're not going to be able to fill it all in but it does look very very cute and then this is super random this is a potato bag and uh, you're just supposed to put potatoes in this and then it's supposed to help keep the potatoes fresh and I just thought this was so cute I just couldn't really pass it up so it's just like a canvas type bag and it has this black lining inside um, it is a little bit smaller like than I thought it would be um, this is the 37 so I'm assuming it's like I thought maybe it would be a 37 this way but it's like this way so it still looks really really cute though um, and you, it has a zipper for some reason 
I don't really know why that's there. But you have a zipper and then you have this like pull on the top so you can close the bag with the potatoes inside. And uh, it honestly, it was just super cute. So I didn't want to leave it. And then these are the shoes that I got. So I'm going to go get those. So I've actually gotten two pairs of shoes from Wish. This is the first pair and they're just a pair of red um, shoes with an ankle strap. So they look like this and they are really, really cute. They're in this like faux suede type fabric and uh, they fit me really, really well. And the um, heel has just the right height to be fairly easy to walk on. And I've actually worn these already to a wedding and I actually uh, really enjoy these shoes. I did do a get ready with me for that wedding. So if you want to see these shoes on, then you can check out that video. And then I got these boots and if you've seen my channel before you've probably seen these boots because I've done hauls with these in the past. I've had just both the black ones and the burgundy ones. I wore them both to death and uh, I got new ones after we moved. So these are just the black ones. They have a little heel just enough to make you a little bit like your uh, attitude just like gets better when you're wearing heels. But they're still super super comfortable because this is fairly short. And it does have a good amount of grip on the bottom as well. I really do want to get more colors again. I think they have the black ones. They have the burgundy, military green, and also like the mustard orange. And uh, they're super comfortable and they have both the uh, laces and also a zip on the inside. If you want some comfortable, easy to wear boots, I do definitely recommend those. Okay, and then this is another random thing. This is a travel pillow. And I'm honestly, I'm not gonna open this all up and like blow it up. Uh, but if you saw Blair's Christmas vlog, like uh, Juicy Star 07, uh, this like big pillow thing that you can put your arms into and sleep like this. That's what this is, but from Wish. And I'm planning on bringing this with me to the States and I am afraid that if I blow it up, I'm not gonna be able to get it back into the bag. So I'm just gonna leave it in here, but that's what it is. And uh, it's a fairly comfortable fabric as well. It just looks like this. It's like this standard travel pillow fabric, I would say. And then it has some instructions inside. I can't wait to see how this works. It's just super weird and interesting. I was planning on getting one of those regular neck pillows, but I really never liked those that much. So I just ended up getting getting this one instead. It was uh, more expensive, but it's also a lot more interesting. And if it works, then it's definitely worth the money as well. This is the last thing that I got, and this is a PG set. So, it comes with a pair of shorts and they look like this. They said meow on the back and then in the front they're just like this. And these are a super comfortable fuzzy fabric like the blankets that I have. Um, I honestly, I didn't even want the top, I just wanted the shorts. But I, weren't, I wasn't able to find anywhere that sold the shorts by itself so I had to buy the set. They are quite stretchy and I don't... I bought size extra large. I could have definitely sized up in this one. But uh, it still it still works, so it is adorable and I just super cute, and it has ears, which is kind of random. And then the top is just a fuzzy hoodie kind of, so it just looks like this with the long sleeves, and then the hoodie right here, and the hoodie also has ears on it. So it is adorable and it's so soft and I can't wait for it to get cooler and then I can actually wear this. And then this is the short set. So as you can see it is quite tight right here and it's definitely not the loose shorts that it is in the photo. But that is obviously a size issue. One thing that I do not like is this seam right here. So the shoulder seam, it's like it was a t-shirt. And then they just sewed long arms on it. The arms are quite like loose, which is comfortable. But this seam is on both sides and it really should be up here. Because when I like close my arms, I can feel it. So it's really not that comfortable. And then the neck is quite high. And then you have the hood right here. So overall it is cute. 
but definitely size up. Super warm though. So yeah, that was the last thing that I got actually. So those were all of the things that I got from Wish this time around. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this and um, definitely let me know if there's anything in specific that you want me to purchase and see what it's like. So if you enjoy this video and you want to see more of them, please give this video a big like, leave any comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot for my channel. So I really do hope you take the time to click the little subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.